Hi, I'm now going to show you the procedure for testing the Draga 1730 using the qualitative test procedure. For the test, you will need sensitivity nebulizer, sensitivity solution, test nebulizer, test solution, and also a protective crusher for the nebulizers. For the first part of the test, you're going to need your sensitivity solution nebulizer, your sensitivity solution, and also your protective sleeve. First, disconnect the top of the sensitivity nebulizer from the bottom by screwing anti-clockwise. Lift up your sensitivity solution and your protective sleeve. Place the tube into the protective sleeve and crush between your finger and thumb. Make a visual inspection of the o-ring on the inside of your sensitivity nebulizer and then insert the solution into there by just squeezing the solution out of the tube and into the nebulizer. Once the tube is empty, reattach the top of the nebulizer to the bottom by screwing clockwise until the threads is connected. We're then going to place the nebulizer into the foam covering just so it stands upright so we don't lose any of the solution. So as we're about to begin the test, we just need to ask you a few critical questions first. One, you haven't had nothing to eat, drink or smoke in the last 45 minutes. No. You've classed yourself as medically fit for this test. Yep. And you've had training in how to don this mask previously. Yes. Okay, what we're going to do with the hood, we're going to get you to put the hood on over your head. I'm then going to insert the sensitivity solution and put some squeezes of that inside the hood. So the first thing we do is help you put on your hood. So you can just put this on over your head, please. And all we're going to do is just tie it up and just pull that down just over your shoulders. Everybody. The next thing I need to do is insert the sensitivity solution inside the hood to make sure that you can actually detect it. Now I'm going to remove the inlet and outlet nozzles from the sensitivity solution. What I need you to do is with your mouth open, tongue extended, breathe in through your mouth. Okay, and all I'm going to do is insert the solution inside the hood. Once you can taste the solution, raise your right hand and I'll instantly stop putting in any further solution. Insert the sensitivity nebulizer inside the hood and full squeezes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then remove the hood. Then I'm going to replace the bungs to the front of the sensitivity nebulizer and then just replace it back to the foam. In the case of this test, the test day tasted the solution quite quickly, which will impact on how many solution squirts we have to add for the full test. I will now prepare the test nebulizer as the test day is taking the 15 minute break. I will unscrew the top of the nebulizer from the bottom anti-clockwise. Pick up the test solution and the protective sleeve. Place the solution inside the sleeve, making sure the o-ring on the internal of the nebulizer is in place. Between the finger and thumb, just crack and insert the solution into the nebulizer. Once all solution is inside, take the top of the nebulizer and screw this back together in preparation for the test day returning. As our test day returns with their mask, we can now get the test eight to don the mask. Making sure one strap sits at the bottom of the neck and the second strap sits at the crown of the head. Making sure the chin is inside the bottom of the chin cup and we give a good solid nip up onto the nose bridge. I now need to perform a test on the nebulizer. So by removing the inlet and outlet bung, squeezing fully on the nebulizer, making sure that we get a mist so that we know a solution is going inside the hood. Okay, if I now get the test eight to don the hood, Making sure there's no gaps where the solution could escape from. We'll just give that a little tighten up there as well. Okay. Now, when I insert the solution inside, we do need you to breathe in through your mouth with your tongue extended. If at any point you do taste the solution, place your right hand up and we will stop the test. As the test day detected the sensitivity solution below the number of 10, at the start of the test, we will put 10 full squirts of solution inside the hood. Every 30 seconds, we will add a further five. So by removing the inlet and outlet nozzles, we'll insert this in. Just pull it forward a touch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll then start the stop clock and just normal breathing. So 
So 30 seconds is up, I will put a further five. One, two, three, four, five. And continue that test of just normal breathing, please. So once I've put in the next five squirts of solution, what I then need to do is go into deep breathing as if an exercise. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, all I'm going to do is insert the solution in again. One, two, three, four, five. And now if you can just rotate your head left and right as if it's naturally looking left and right. So then another further five. You just hold your head still for two seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And continue your left and right. Okay, when I've inserted the five solutions this time, I need you to do head up and down. Two, three, four, five. So head up and down as if you're naturally looking up and down. Okay, if I just get you to stop two seconds, I'm just going to put another further five in. And just continue with that motion for the test. So once I've put the solution in this time, all I want you to do is count down from 100 towards zero as if we were having a normal conversation. Two, three, four, five. Okay. So if you just stop counting there, I'm just going to put another five in. One, two, three, four, five. And if you just continue where you were towards zero, so 60. 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55. Okay, I'm going to put a further five in. And this time I just need you to bend forward as if looking towards the ground. Arms crossed across your chest and I'll just hold on to the bag at the bottom so we don't lose the bag. Okay, if you just stop there, I'll just put another five in. One, two, three, four, five. And then just continue the motion for the test again. What I'm doing is checking the solution, making sure I'm still getting the mist. And now we're going to insert five more. This will be our final test. Two, three, four, five. And all I want you to do is go back to normal breathing. This should be our final five. One, two, three, four, five. Just normal breathing. 30 more seconds. That's the test complete. All I'm going to ask you to do is to put your hand on the inside of the hood and break the seal of the mask on the inside. And hopefully you should get a taste of the solution on the inside. Yep. Once that's complete, you can then remove the hood and then remove the mask. If at any point during the test you had tasted the solution, we would have stopped the test and then had to start the test from the very beginning again. Okay. That's the test complete. If during the test, the test aid did detect the taste of the solution or felt uncomfortable while wearing the hood, then we should use a quantitative test instead.